Right, Pirates, it's Saturday the 22nd of January, 2022. Ahoy. Ahoy. Some faces we haven't seen in a little while. Um, and obviously, by the date, you'll know that it is a bit later because I am currently banned from YouTube again for having an opinion, but uh, we won't go there. Um, so today, we are literally, just for a bit of fun, um, going to go and have a quick walk up the hill, Harvey's going to light a fire with a flint and some birch bark. Um, we're going to cook a can of soup. And then we're going to come back and go for a pint up the Legion with uh, Uncle Mick. But check this out, look. Well, I made for uh, Harvey's got one as well, look. So I got them um, for Christmas presents. But you haven't seen them since. Oh, look, Harvey's putting the uh, waterproof case on the bag, right? Even though we're only going... At there. <laughs> yes, it rains on the way back. Right. On the way back? We'll, <laughs> we'll have used it before then. Right, come on in, pirates, let's go. Oh, where's my catapult? <laughs> bit of that. And a bit of that in case we see any bunnies on the way. You ain't carrying that bag, that's too heavy. And I got the axe I bet I'm carrying it before we get to the big fence. So we're up by the river now, up where we're going to go in these bushes. We had a shot at uh, a rabbit and a couple of pigeons, but with a catapult, didn't get anything. Got Nearly got the rabbit. It was a little bit far away and I'm a little bit out of practice, but that being said, it was close. So we're going to start our get our fire lit, but what sort of wood do we use, boys, for, uh, what's it also called, what? No, yeah, yeah, birch bark, but what sort of wood in particular are we looking for? Dead, Dead. but what we call dry standing, isn't it, where it's hanging, so it's not actually attached to the tree, and it's not touching the ground, and that is called dry standing timber, and that will always be the driest, like basically dead hangers because look like this. See, that will be the driest. Yes, so a bit, of, loads of thin stuff on the birch bark. Robert's your father's brother. All right, so we've gathered a few sticks to start with and we've got some birch bark and a bit of that like sizzle stuff. It was what came with his, uh, came with your, uh, yeah. one of your uh, fire kits I bought you, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, let's see if Harvey can get a spark on there then. What, what did you use last time? Did you use my knife or that thing? I used your knife last time. So. Hold on. Oh, look, you're knocking all the birch bark off, Harvey. Get further back, away from it. All right, well, this isn't going very well for the boy as of yet. He's knocked all the birch bark off. Right, I'll be on the camera. You want to eat it? Yeah, it doesn't mean it's going to go yet. Always hold the sticks above it so you don't squash the stuff underneath it that's trying to burn because it will go out if you do that. Mm. Have, we got, have we got any? Can't hear crackling yet. Right, it's smoking. We've got five peanuts straight out of here. Yeah, we're not lit yet, mate. Yeah, I don't know why it's not lighting. Because the wood's damp. And it's on the wet ground. And half of the birch bark has been blown all over the floor, isn't it? Mm. But it's alright. Yeah. Just give it a moment. Oh, 
Can you not see it's starting to burn down there? Yeah, it's keeping it alight, that's the problem uh, up there. Client's got to be nearly there now. Well, we failed. Well, we might be able to try something else that should only ever be done. By Dad. No. If all the other options have failed. Oh, no. Do not do this at, at home, guys. Because it will cause even more pollution. <laughs> yeah, mate, listen. The people that tell you that you're polluters are the people doing the polluting. So, just remember that. Yeah. Deadly. Not exactly deadly. It is. Yeah. Are you filming this or what? Mm. Just stand the other side. Ah! Got button. Melted onto my finger. Mm, I hate when it does that. Yeah, the woods yet either. This breeze is making it a bit. We're on a hill, so that it, the wind's rolling up and down the hill. It makes it a bit uh, irritating when you're trying to get it first going. True, true, yeah. It's going. It's going. It's going. Right. So the fire is now currently going. We had to obviously resort to uh, emergency tactics, which really I do not condone and I really hate doing, but times must and all that, uh, needs must and all that shit. So we get this fire going and then we'll show you uh, a little technique about how to do a, a tin on a fire without blowing yourself up. <laughs> Uh, in the meantime, <laughs> boys, as uh, they used to say on Sooty and Sweet, Busy Wizzy, let's get busy. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, by hook or by crook, the fire is lit. And um, actually, like, it's like, like you see all that pile of sticks down here. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't have had stuff like this years ago, even when I was a kid because everyone was out having their little campfires, camping and doing all that. And then when people stop doing that, that's when all this happens. And yeah. It's a nice little clearing. This is a bit that people use. Harvey's worked out, hold on, how to use leverage instead of, instead of instead of strength. And jobs are good and we're going to let that burn down in a minute. You hear the heat coming out of that. So we didn't do too bad. We did that. That birch bark and that was old and crumbly and the moss and lichen in here is all soggy and wet and we were lighting it on the wet ground. And as you can see, there is a bit of a breeze blowing up this hill. Um, now was that anabatic, was it? Oh no, that's in the sea. In the sea it'd be anabatic and catabatic, isn't it? Where the wind blows up or down the, from the sea to the... But it doesn't really count with the River Eden. <laughs> so this is something I saw on a British Army thing. But be careful, because these things will explode. Right, so if you get the tin and sort of gent, dent it gently like that, not kinks, all that. Mm -hmm. And then you put it in the embers of the fire. When it gets hot, it will inflate back out again. And then you take it off and you leave it for a little while. But when it starts to pop back out, that's when you know it's getting hot inside. Okay, so we have one tin unopened at the top. Now you do need to be very careful when doing this because they will explode if you leave them on there too long. 
Um, we keep that so we can see the dent come out. But stand this side because look, if it blows, me and uh, can you, uh, me and the boy's mum actually exploded a tin of baked beans when Harvey was a baby before Bert was born. <laughs> I, for some reason, I actually remember that. And he was asleep. We was out having a fag, and I put a tin of beans on top of the wood burner. And uh, we had this popping noise, and uh, I hold the tin of, tin of baked beans exploded. We had I had to redecorate the whole room because it was all over the ceiling, all over the walls. The only bit it didn't get was Harvey, and his because he had one of them big sealed cots, and it he went like all round him, but got the whole entire room, and he never even woke up. And uh, for some reason, I remember that from a dream. Maybe, but yeah. So do be very careful. Can you boys just stand away from the fire for a minute now whilst it's getting warm? But that means go that way. Make sure it doesn't ex Dad, if that but the end was pointing at that log, it would just go flying. Yeah. Dent starting to come out. See that? And I can feel it's nice and warm. That's like, to be fair, it is only a can of soup, so I might just give it another minute and then just take it off anyway. All right, let's get that off. Yeah, but it's it's only soup anyway. But then the thing is, yeah, that dent has basically almost popped out now. You see that? And you know when it's going to pop when it starts going bowing outwards you know what I mean a, but this is a very 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 important thing when I open that now that's going to be under pressure so you open it very, slowly. very very slowly normally give it a minute or two but this isn't as hot as normal so right Harvey don't go that way Watch it. literally I'm just going to using my knife there you go, that's, that pop, oh, that pop then, there you go, right, so it wasn't hot enough that it actually came out, which is good. Let's see it, my boy, let's see. It's nice, that's like, let's see. Oh, that's like, you know when your cup of tea is at the, you know when your cup of tea is at the perfect temperature to drink? Yeah. Right, so I'll tip half of it in here for Bert. And Harvey can drink out the can. Okay. <laughs> yeah, lads. <laughs> and then I always burn the tin off and that. And take it away afterwards. Where it just stops the animals going for it if you burn all the smell of food off of it and all that. So, uh... Christy, what do you reckon then, boys? Nice? Cool, and we're going to celebrate with a pint and a game of pool with Uncle Mickey. Boys? Boys? Is that Pirates Live? Pirates So, we've had our soup. I've turned the fire in. So they always say, oh, put your fire out and all the rest of it. But oh, I really don't believe that. The closest thing I have to a religion really is turn your fire in. And, uh, well, the thing is, look, I've been lighting fires for 30 years. That cannot do any damage to anything. And if an animal was stupid enough to walk in it, then it deserves to get burnt. And it just simply wouldn't happen anyway. Um, but the truth of the matter is, in, say, like a cold country or something like that, you know, uh, a lost traveller that might be, you know, hypothermic or anything, they stumbled across your fire might save their life. Someone might be cold and wet, they might not have anything to light a fire and see it there and, you know, if someone fell in the river and saw the fire, they could come and warm themselves up. Just, I just really don't believe in putting a fire out. It's like the symbol of life in the camp, you know, all the time the fire's alive, we're alive. Fire's what separates man from the beast, after all. Anyway, boys, let's go and see Uncle Mickey. Is it about life? Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
So we're in the pub. Let's go and surprise Uncle Mick. Mick! Is that Pirate's Life? It's a Pirate's Life for me. Pirate's Life! It's a Pirate's Life for me. Arr, yeah, we run! Right, look, it's Keely's birthday and she feels left out. Keely, is it a pirate's life? Arr, it's a pirate's life for me! Arr, Frankie, is it a pirate's life? Pirate's life for me! Oh, bloody hell, they're all on it now. Boys, is it a pirate's life? It's a pirate's life for me! Now we've got it running. Why do you think, you idiot? Why do you think I would tell you not to stand smoke side, Bert? We're rolling. Let's take one with that boy. Anyway, get out the bloody smoke! 